scriptures. You can rejoice in the Lord, hallelujah, because John chapter 8, 36 says, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. When Jesus comes into your life and he sets you free from all bondage and the yoke of sin, you are free and free indeed. You are not free to sin again. You are free to do what? We are, we are free to not be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Hallelujah. If you are locked or tied up, somebody comes and sets you free, what you going to do? Thank you, thank you, thank you. They're your hero, right? They're going to be your hero. And you're, you're going to want to serve them. You're going to want to do something in return for them. You're going to want to sacrifice for them, you know? If I can give you some money or if I can if I can do something for you, I want to do it. If, okay, well, I don't have money. Let's, let's you know, let's uh, make a deal where I work for you or whatever it is, you know. You want to do something for them because they took all that bondage off of you. They set you free. Jesus set us free. And if he set us free, then why are we not living for him? We need to live in the fire of the Holy Ghost for him. Hallelujah. We should be living as a living sacrifice for him. Worship him. You are chosen. You are a chosen people. The Bible tells us that we are light in the darkness. We are called out to be a difference amongst this world. We don't have to look like the world and talk like the world and act like the world because Jesus has set us free. Live in that liberty. Walk in Christ and live in the liberty and freedom in him so that you can be used as a vessel for Christ. Hallelujah. What is a servant for the Lord? What is a servant? Someone who works for him. When somebody calls you servant, will you keep your feet planted on the ground? Because a servant is just that. Like your servant when you go to a restaurant. That's your waitress. They bring you everything you need, right? They don't get paid much. Waitresses don't get paid much, y'all. Just a couple bucks an hour. And then the tips that we give them, hey? Servants of the Lord many times don't get paid at all. But why do we do it? Because we love the Lord. We get paid in blessings. Hallelujah. We don't, we're not asking for money. We're not, we're not, you know, we're not doing this to piddle. Y'all know what piddling is? Where you're just doing a little bit of something so maybe somebody can give you a little money. You know, just looking around, seeing what you can just touch a little bit and just piddling in something. We're not doing that. It's hard work being a servant. It's hard work. But we do it for the glory of God. We don't do it for man's glory. We do it for the glory of God. Are you serving the Lord today? You can. Find out what your gift is. Everybody that's been born again has a spiritual gift. Find out what your gift is. Talk to your pastor. Talk to us. Talk to the leaders in your church. See if you can get some help if you don't know what your spiritual gift is. Someone will help you to figure it out. So you can start working in that spiritual gift. The best person you can ask is the Holy Spirit, what your spiritual gift is. He'll reveal it to you. But if you need some help in prayer, need some counsel, well, let us know. Amen. We are chosen people. When we are weak, he is strong. Praise God. He can use you if you just let him. Come to Jesus today. Just let him, let him work in your life. Heavenly Father, I praise you, God. I thank you, Father, for everyone, Lord, that has joined us, whether they are, you know, seeing this live as a premiere or whether they are watching the replay, Lord. I praise you and I thank you, Father, for the opportunity, Lord, that it is to serve you, Lord, and to minister to your people, Father. I place them in your hands, oh, Lord. I place every viewer in your hands, oh, God. I place my own life in your hands and my family, Lord. Cover us by the precious blood of Jesus. Help us, Lord, to serve you. In Jesus' name, I pray.